Kohl's department stores and Kroger grocery stores announcing they would start requiring all customers to wear masks. The move comes the same day Walmart and Best Buy announced similar rules. Sam Brock reports on these new orders and how it's going to impact your trip to the store. This morning, America's biggest retail giant putting its foot down on masks. Starting Monday, Walmart and Sam's Club will mandate facial coverings, saying in a statement, because the virus can be spread by people who don't have symptoms and don't know they're infected, it's critically important for everyone to wear a face covering in public. More than a third of Walmart's 5,000 stores are in areas with no mask order. Now every store will have an employee stationed out front to enforce the rule. Kroger Supermarkets also announcing they'll require masks starting next Wednesday. This as skyrocketing infections push more states to issue their own mandates, like Texas, where the governor hopes to avoid drastic action. All we need is for people to wear masks. If everyone wears a mask, nothing will be locked down. Alabama, the latest state joining the mandatory mask list after cases spiked over 70% in the last two weeks. I get pretty uh, emotional by this. Yeah. Alabama doctor David Thrasher says wearing a mask shouldn't be a debate. But it's so political now. It shouldn't be us versus them. Still, not everyone's convinced about the urgency of wearing masks. In Georgia, Governor Brian Kemp on Wednesday explicitly banning cities and counties from ordering people there to wear masks in public. Critics also blame President Trump, who's regularly seen in public without a mask. And in Oklahoma, where cases are surging, the governor himself just tested positive, but still no mask order. I'm not thinking about a mask mandate at all. Walmart's mask policy following other household names like Costco, Apple, Best Buy, and Starbucks. So far, reaction among customers is mixed. I totally agree with it. This is all a bunch of hogwash. A new Gallup poll finds that while most Americans say they wear masks in public, 14% report never wearing one. The CDC now pleading with the public to comply, saying masks are key in curbing the pandemic. I think if we could get everybody to wear a mask right now, I really do think over the next four, six, eight weeks, we could bring this epidemic under control. Walmart's decision coming as as much of a protective measure for its own employees as it is for customers. The National Retail Federation applauded this move. They have been lobbying the Trump administration and governors across the country for weeks to try to make this a national standard. They said it is a privilege, not a right, to be able to shop inside of stores right now. In Miami, Sam Brock, NBC News.